This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. March 14, a savior of the most normal. Luke 7.34 says, The Son of Man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks, and you say he's a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and other sinners. On January 12, 2007, Joshua Bell, one of the best contemporary violinists, put on a baseball cap and began playing in the Washington subway. He held in his hands a Stradivarius from 1913 and valued at $3.5 million, and the pieces he performed were among the most complex ever written for the violin. He expected dozens of people to stop and listen as they had done a few days earlier at the Boston Symphony Hall. They didn't. Haste overcame beauty. One of the few passerbys who stopped to listen was John David Matheson, an energy department official, because that music made him feel at peace. Joshua Bell repeated the experiment at the same location seven years later. The circumstances were not the same because people knew about the event and the place was filled with people. It's funny how because of daily pressures, we do not always detect beauty. When Christ came, he chose to do it as someone normal. He put on his baseball cap and started playing melodies never heard before. Who would have imagined that Allegro, joyful with Zacchaeus, would have had time to come down from the sycamore tree and throw a party? Or that Sherzo, with fun, with the Samaritan woman, fun that ended in conversion, or that Giocosco, Giocoso, playful when he hugged the children over and over, or that Vivace, lively in the resurrection of Lazarus, and above all the Passionato with passion of the death on the cross. There at Golgotha Metro stop, only a few dozen stopped a few understood the greatness of his work. Three women and a teenager. One soldier, an official of the torture department, felt peace. And dozens ignored him. What a pity. Because that cross was worth millions and millions of lives. Perhaps our savior was too normal, too human-like for us to understand his beauty. It happened once, but we're not going to let it happen again. The commitment, the covenant of God's people is that everyone gets to know that Jesus will return to give the concert of history. He will be accompanied by myriads of angels with their trumpets, and we will participate in the choir. Do not allow anyone to miss the opportunity to be present and appreciate its immensity. Allow them to recognize the beauty. Tell it to everyone because Christ will return. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this. Walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours, and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.